Hi folks, in this video I'll give you some background information of some elements of the plot of Bandersnatch, the interactive film of the Black Mirror series. In the plot there is talk about a young programmer who in 1984 was working on a so-called mega game with the name Bandersnatch. So what's about this uh, video game Bandersnatch? So in the early 80s in the British computer press there was quite some rumor about this game and it was all in the Sinclair ecosystem where first talks and demos were that Bandersnatch will be a game for the ZX Spectrum but with the launch of the Sinclair QL in early 1984 and with the collapse of the publisher Rumors were around that Sinclair Research bought the rights and set up a team to uh, develop and uh, market Bandersnatch as one of the launch games for the QL. So on my PC I have quite a bunch of files related to Bandersnatch. So let's have a view on those files. So first some magazines and in those magazines from 1984 there were those rumors about uh, Bandersnatch and those reports and it took some 30 years to find a chop lot of about 460 Sinclair microdrive cartridges where on some cartridges there was a label Bandersnatch and uh, some members of the QL preservation team bought those cartridges and they were shipped from the United States to Italy and in Italy there were uh, some actions done to preserve the content of those micro drives and in the very end, there were two versions of Bandersnatch becoming public. So one is the older version, which uh, looks like very close to how Bandersnatch was on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. So this is this game here. I started it in the Q emulator and uh, there's a very basic functionality inside you can move a character and you can a little bit jump or do some actions and the game gets bust so you see the graphics uh, are not good anymore and the gameplay is completely destroyed so with the second version the later version which is the proper QL version in the QL's high resolution display mode takes a while to load and then you see loading Bandersnatch it looks like some graphics problem in the beginning but uh, after a while the game starts and uh, it looks quite nice for a 1984 title nice character animation and uh, multiple screens so the gameplay is quite limited but uh, I was able to walk around rooms and also to open doors and so on so this game is still work in progress as it was in 1984 but at least it was uh, resurrected and uh, preserved and I just wanted to show you and prove you that Bandersnatch is not just a myth or a rumor, it's a real existing piece of software. That's it for the moment. Enjoy Bandersnatch, the interactive film, and stay tuned for more Sinclair QL stuff.